anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. From Viking halls to the cities of the future, terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at BeastsOfWar.com. So guys, welcome once again to another airbrush tutorial with myself and you. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've said the name too many times now. Yeah, Brian. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, we're working on something a little bit bigger this time. Uh, what are we working on here? We're working on an Elder Grav tank, aren't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a new stencil now. We haven't done this one before. Right. Um, so, this is what we're calling the snake skin. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, it's similar to the dragon scales we did before. The scales are a bit wider, and we also have the, these other ones where it's just a, a hint of a scale mm -hmm. rather than full-on scales. So this will give you like a diamond sort of snakeskin pattern, yep. as quite a few snakes have. Mm -hmm. um, so this is one of the sizes. There's another size there. Mm -hmm. Also going to do a very tiny one too. And these are all the new ones? Yep, these are all uh, going to be in wave two. Um, these are just the prototypes, they don't look the same shape as the others, but uh, they'll do the job for now. Cool. So what are we doing this elder, uh, this grav tank? Uh, I think we'll go for green this time. We've mm -hmm. done some other colours in the other videos, so we'll do green for a change. All right, cool. So let's talk about what greens we're using. Yep, uh, I've got uh, dark green, Yep. Game Air dark green, and I've also got uh, Game Air goblin green. Mm -hmm. um, Probably around about 50-50. Yeah. Uh, and obviously a bit of the uh, thinner as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll just start up building up a, a good base green to put the stencil on later. Okay. Build up a nice dark base green. Mm -hmm. We're going to mainly focus on the, on the raised areas to, uh, to help show off the curvature of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Right, I think that will do for this stage. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's still quite dark, but it's going to get lightened up a lot more by uh, when the stencil goes on. So we're we're not adding a second highlight to this at this point. Um, or do you not think it needs it? I don't think it needs it. The scales are going to be really quite leery on this one. Yeah. Um, so I don't think it needs it. So at this stage, we'll go away as we've done before. We'll varnish the model because when you varnish the model, it stops. The paint you've already been yep. put down getting damaged uh, by applying the stencil. So we'll go and do that, and then when we come back, we'll start to add your Larry skills. <laughs> Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves, and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on BeastsOfWar.com. Fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the mighty Jax, arcane devices, and dark sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Okay, so we're back now. We have our Grav Tank varnished. It's had a good amount of time to dry. We're now ready for stenciling. Yep. So again, we're going to be using the uh, snake skin pattern. Mm -hmm. This is the, uh, the small, um, and I'm going to use the mini and micro on this thing here. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, dead white in there. Or dead flesh. The dead flesh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> and the re reason I'm using that is, uh, as you can see, it's already got a bit of a green tinge to it, mm -hmm. and that's just going to help match it in with what we're using rather than just pure white. Yeah. When you're using extension, you need to pay atten uh, particular attention to the the, the white lines where the just the hint of the scales are, mm -hmm. and make sure you get those. And again, let the model dictate where you want a, the pattern to go. It's tricky to get it to go over this lump here, so just mm -hmm. don't try and do it. Mm 
That's quite good. Only quite good. Only quite good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that because we're not finished yet. <laughs> yeah. Right, so if, um, I think I'm going to go on to the, uh, the micro size now. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously I'm going to try and keep the scales in the same orientation. It's amazing how quick you get the paint down on a very short pass. Well, that's, that's exactly why I've gone for really strong, uh, very opaque colours. Mm -hmm. um, if you're trying to do the same with like reds or yellows, um, generally it's going to take a lot longer to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so you, that's why we use the very opaque colours and then change it afterwards. If you were to just do this with pure yellow, yeah. there's no way it's going to cover that green. See, it's a bit wet there at the moment, so I'm just using the air to dry it. Uh -huh. So there we go. Now that is pretty amazing looking as it is. <laughs> I like that. And the fact that, as you were mentioning earlier, the dead flesh has a bit of a green tint to it, which yeah. looks more apparent now that you have that done. Yeah, so it, it works well. It works, works a lot better than pure white. Uh -huh. So the next part, um, we have the game ink. Everyone's going to say, oh, he always uses the inks. <laughs> yeah, because they work really well. <laughs> so we have the uh, the game ink. We have to make our skills nice and leery now. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, obviously you, you can do it in any colour you like, but um, I did a test for this the other day and it looked awesome, so yeah. I'm going to do it again. So uh, we're going to give the, uh, the scales a really nice coat of the yellow ink. Uh -huh. As we can see, the yellow is barely touching that dark green. Mm -hmm. That's why we're using a transparent paint and inks rather than a normal paint. So, there we go. That is damn cool. Not quite finished yet. I know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so now, we're going to use the green ink. Mm -hmm. We've already prepared in this airbrush. And uh, this is going to give it a, another colour to help really show off the pattern. Mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is we're going to aim this just through where these, uh, just the highlights of the scales are rather than where the, the full scales are. Mm -hmm. So. So like that. Yeah. Need a bit more control for this one because you try not to cover the whole area. So just spend a bit of time practicing to get that right. What we want to do now is uh, use this dark green to shade some of these areas. There's a good one, and underneath here. That is looking pretty awesome. In fact, that is not looking pretty awesome, that is looking very awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm lost again. You're speechless so. again. <laughs> speechless again, okay. So again, obviously you can use any colours you like, um, but uh, as with some of the other videos we've done, if you try and use two of the tones rather than just pure yellow or just mm -hmm. pure green, you're going to get a lot more variation. If you want to come back in now with some edge highlights, you can pick out the guns and stuff, mm -hmm. gemstones and things. Drop your comments <laughs> down below. <laughs> um, I should have pre-warned him how awesome this one looks. <laughs> he should have, but he didn't. 
and he's been gearing me up all day for this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So lessons learned is you recommend inks for doing this sort of stuff? Uh, only the, uh, with the stenciling of these sort of freehand stencils, mm -hmm. you need to get the stenciling part done in one shot and very quickly. Yep. So you use a really opaque paint. The downside of that is it doesn't look quite as cool as if you've got some multiple colours going on. Um, because you don't want to be trying to shoot multiple colours through one stencil, mm -hmm. um, unless it's a sticky stencil. Um, but the freehand ones, uh, if you move it while you're painting, it's no good. So mm -hmm. changing colours and airbrushes and stuff isn't ideal, so you want to get it on quick and then change it afterwards with the, uh, the transparent paints um, like we've done there. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Brian from Anarchy Models to come over and show off all the most of the Wave 2 <laughs> that we've been checking That's out right, now. yeah. Uh, and yeah, he has been showing off quite a bit and it's making me quite jealous. So, <laughs> put your comments down below, guys. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys. Progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsung Hub on beastsofwar.com. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastsofwar.com.